Welcome to the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality's e-permitting demonstration video. This presentation will be walking through how to submit an oil and gas permit by rule application using the State of Texas Environmental Electronic Reporting System, or STEERS. There are four main steps in the e-permit process. First, the customer will fill out the application and upload application documents. Then, the responsible official will sign the application. Next, the customer will pay the application fee through ePay. And the final step is to submit the application. The benefits of using the STEERS system include easier application submitting, a faster review time, and potentially receiving a same-day authorization letter if the application being submitted is eligible. To get to the STEERS webpage, first go to the TCEQ homepage. Scroll down to the bottom left of the page and click on e-permitting STEERS. Here is what the STEERS homepage looks like. On the left is a list of the available programs that can be submitted through STEERS. There is a link to program area phone numbers in the top right corner under questions or comments. Assuming that the customer already has a STEERS account, this is where they will log into STEERS using their ER account number and password. If the customer does not already have a STEERS account set up, there is another video presentation by the TCEQ instructing them how to create a STEERS account. After signing in, the STEERS program area page will appear. Today I will be filling out an oil and gas initial permit by rule 106.352L application. I have already added my appropriate program area EPR NSR to my account and signed the STEERS participation agreement. Click on Air New Source Review EPR NSR. To start a new application, select Fill Out on the Activities page. To access an already created application by the application password, select Access. In this example, a new application will be created. Click Fill Out. The next page will bring up different application types of Air New Source Review projects that can be submitted through STEERS. Under Air New Source Review Administrative Actions, a company can submit an Air NSR Change of Ownership application. Under New Source Performance Standard, a company can submit a Well Completion Flowback Notification. Under General MSS Registrations and Other APD Certifications, the company can submit an APD Certification or APD Maintenance Startup and Shutdown Project for a facility. Under Notifications and Registrations for Barnett Shale, a company can submit oil and gas site historical or new project notifications, a Barnett Shale oil and gas site PBR registration, or an oil and gas site non-rule standard permit registration. Under registrations for permits by rule, a company could submit a PBR application for new or existing registrations. Finally, under registrations for a standard permit, a company can submit a standard permit application for a new or existing registration. In this example, a PBR new registration application will be filled out. Select registrations for permits by rule, then PBR new registration, and then click next. Once the project application is created, a confirmation page will appear with the application reference number and application password. The application reference number and password may be used by another STEERS account holder to access the project application. Access rights will be assigned at this step by clicking Set Access Rights. For example, the responsible official can add the STEERS account number of their consultant to the application so that the consultant can access the project. After access rights have been set, select Next. The next step is to input the site information. The question icon at the top of the page near the title is a link to STEERS Help. The customer can click on this icon and a new window will open providing help text to explain what information the STEERS system is requesting. These icons will appear throughout each step of the application process for the customer's convenience. The red highlighted text at the top of the page is an example of a STEERS error message. STEERS will let the customer know if there is a portion of the application step that needs to be completed before letting the customer move forward in the application process. 
For this portion of the application, there are three options to generate the regulated entity information. If there is no RN number assigned yet, fill out option 3 with the site information. For this example, the site has an RN. Type in the RN number into the option 1 regulated entity number box, then click Next. Please note that the task list for this project is to the left of the screen. Here, the customer can see which steps of the application process have been completed and which steps are still needing to be filled out. There are four options to generate the customer information. In this example, select option 1 and then click Next. Since we selected option 1 to generate the customer information, this page shows that information populated. For the question, how is this applicant associated with this site, the answer will be owner-operator, operator, or owner. Let's say owner-operator. Next, the applicant must certify that the full legal name of the entity applying for this permit has been provided and is legally authorized to do business in Texas. Verify that the customer information is correct. If the information is incorrect, please contact the APD mainline. The next step is to provide the contact information for the responsible authority. After filling out all information for the responsible authority, click Next, Save. The user will fill out the responsible official contact information. This can be the same information as the responsible authority contact. After filling out all information for the responsible official, click Next, Save. Next, the user will fill out the technical contact information for the project. This will be the person the TCEQ contacts if there are any technical questions in regards to the permit application. The technical contact can be the same as the responsible official or a consultant. After filling out the necessary technical contact information fields, click Next, Save. The user will now answer general PBR questions about the site. Question 4 is where the company will indicate if the permit, project, and associated emissions will be certified. Question 8 asks about confidential information. Since the TCEQ currently does not have a way to upload confidential information into the STEERS system if the company has anything confidential in the application, they will need to mail in any confidential files to the TCEQ's main Austin office. Please keep a lookout for the next STEERS update that will include a way to securely upload confidential files into the application. The next step is to add the rule or rules being registered. Since this application example is only registering PBR 352L, I will leave the total number of rules field as 1. The rules are organized by unit names. Search for the relevant name and the rule will populate. In this example, the site is being authorized under 106.352L, so we will select Oil and Gas Production Facilities from the drop-down selection column. Select what version of the rule is applicable, and then click the right arrow to move the applicable rule to the selected box. Once the applicable rule is on the right-hand side under the selected column, click Next, Save. Since 106.352L was selected, there are specific questions the system will ask in regards to this specific rule. Please read through each question carefully and select your responses according to the site. Once all of the specific questions are answered according to the site, click Next, Save. The user will then input the estimated annual emission rates for the site. Please make sure to input your values to the second decimal place. Once the emissions have been entered, click Next, Save. The next step is to upload the required supporting documents or permit application. The TCEQ's preferred order of documents can be found at the top of the page. Click Choose, select the documents, and click Next Save. Here is what the Customer Activities page looks like. Under the Status column of the table, the STEERS system will show the status of the project. The status of the project will say, In Progress, while the applicant is filling out the required project information shown in the project task list. 
Once the application has been successfully filled out, the status will change to ready to sign. After the responsible official signs the application, the status will change to ready to pay. And finally, after the payment is processed, the status will update to ready to submit. This example's status shows that the application is now ready to be signed by the responsible official. The customer will select the appropriate project and then click sign. The responsible official will agree to the statement and sign using their STEERS ER password. Entering the password will act as the electronic signature for the project. After the responsible official enters their ER account password, click Apply Electronic Signature. After signing, the user will be directed to pay for the application. If the company is wanting to apply a previous payment voucher to pay for an application, please contact the APD mainline for further assistance. In this example, we will be proceeding with the payment process using a new payment. Select Pay Reference Number and then click Next. Confirm that the fee amount is correct, then click Next. A prompt will appear informing the customer that they will next be transferred to ePay. Click Go to ePay and follow the steps to complete and submit the payment for the application. After payment has been successfully processed, an ePay transaction confirmation page will appear. To go back to the application, click Return to Steers. You will be directed to the page where the application that you have been working on can be submitted. Confirm the application information is correct, then click Submit. After clicking Submit, it may take a while to process the submittal action. Please do not close out of the current page. Once the project has been successfully submitted, a confirmation page will appear. All projects submitted via STEERS will have a link to the project's copy of record. The copy of record is a copy of the STEERS application as the customer has submitted it. STEERS projects that are eligible for same-day approval will receive a copy of the registration approval letter given the project submitted is applicable. The customer will receive an email from STEERS if the submitted project is not eligible for same-day approval authorization. The TCEQ will review the project and the company will receive a response within 45 days for applications within the EPR-NSR program area. In this example, the information that was submitted with the application qualified the company for a same-day approval registration letter. Let's select Link to Approval Letter to see what one looks like. The date at the top of the letter is the date that the registration was issued for the site. The customer would verify that all the contact and site information represented is correct. If it is not correct, please contact the Rules and Registration section for further assistance. A few tips for submitting e-permit applications through STEERS are Avoid copy and pasting or using special characters when filling in information fields. Regional offices have access to the application. No need to mail a copy. Local, city, or county programs will still need a hard copy of the application. Please verify all site information is accurate and all applicable rules have been added to the application before submitting. At the bottom of this page are some helpful contact numbers if you should come across any problems during your application submittal process. Thanks for watching.